Hello and welcome back to the Man United fan stand. Another Manchester United, and um, well, some more Manchester United news for you guys. Jose Mourinho is to resign from Manchester United as he is to go to Real Madrid. I mean, look, I mean, lots of people are saying that Mourinho is going to be here in January and stuff. I mean. Jose Mourinho is to be Real Madrid manager, so I don't think the guy has got that long left at Manchester United then, which I am really happy about. All I say is get Mourinho out Manchester United, because right now, he isn't needed. He really isn't needed at the club. Uh, we need to play attacking football if we want to go on and win trophies. So for me, I'm happy with the news just... You know, let Mourinho go. Edwards Ward can't fight over him and say, oh no, I want Mourinho to stay at Manchester United. Get Mourinho out, let him go, find a new manager. But the bad thing is, who will come into Manchester United? Have you got any plans? It won't be Zidane. Z Zidane's not going to come in now. I haven't heard anything about Zidane joining man look, being Manchester United manager for a while now. So, look, all I'm saying is that it's not going to be Zidane, it could be uh, Simone. I mean, would I be happy with uh, uh, Simone as Manchester United manager? We will get attacking football. Um, he isn't the best at winning uh, league trophies, though. He's amazing at winning Europa Leagues. We don't want bloody Europa Leagues. We want Premier Leagues. We want Champions Leagues trophies. So, for me... I wouldn't say yes to Simeone. I I I, I would just leave it. But the Mourinho wants to leave Manchester United. I'm happy with that. But I mean, the Mourinho hasn't said anything. It's just that Real Madrid wants him. I mean, the Mourinho's probably is, is is he gonna want to go to Real Madrid over Manchester United? Though? Look for me, I want Mourinho to go to Real Madrid. I don't want him at Manchester United. It's time to get a new manager at this club. So for me. Get, get Mourinho out, let him go to Real Madrid, don't start a massive fight over him. Because right now, at this moment in time, we do not need... Um um, we do not need Jose Mourinho as Manchester United manager. I, I, I don't want him at the club. All I'm saying is just to get Mourinho out, because right now I don't believe that he is good enough. I really just don't think that we should go and we should get Mourinho... Uh, I, 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 I just don't think that he's good enough to really be the Manchester United manager. But, I mean, couldn't that be Conte coming to Manchester United then? Antonio Conte. If bloody Antonio Conte comes to Manchester United, we are bloody screwed. I, I, I'm telling you, yeah, we won the Premier League at tri uh, Chelsea. But, look, I hate Conte and we will be bloody screwed if we get him. Uh, another defensive manager, so that would be four defensive managers... Get an attacking manager, get the down, get an query. Simeone, it's he's not hard, not Pochettino. I mean, look, for me, I would say Simeone is probably a similar manager to Pochettino. So, the, the, we don't want someone like Pochettino, a manager who can never win the league. Um, and look, we have to win Premier Leagues, and that's why we brought Mourinho in. That's why we keep on changing managers because our, manage, our current managers can't win the bloody Premier League. Mourinho isn't going to do it. Get a manager this time. I mean, look, we need to get a manager who we actually know will be at Manchester United for a while. It will, it will help stuff. And then we'll have to go through all of it again. The new manager, he's going to sell players, he's going to buy players. It's just going to go all wrong, though. So buy a manager who can stay here for about 10 years, five seasons or so. Just buy a manager who can actually be at the club for a while, not a, a manager who can be who can only last two seasons at the club. Just look, sack Mourinho because Mourinho's not going to be here for long. He's not one of those men who are, who's, he isn't one of those managers who are capable enough of being at a club for about five years. He never has done in his, in his whole well, for like, oh, should I say ten years? He has. He hasn't been at a club for, for 10 years in his whole year of managing. So just seriously, look, let Mourinho go. Just let him go. Let him play defensive football somewhere else. We want to play attacking football at Manchester United. We want to win trophies at Manchester United. Get rid of Mourinho because we're not going to win a Premier League trophy under Jose Mourinho. He's too defensive. He's just going to make us be too defensive every game. The formation that we're playing... 
which is like a four three three right now is ridiculous a four three three does not work with manchester united um defensive formation it's not that attacking so let's just leave it um it's it's hardly attacking it, it, it's not attacking whatsoever that's a bloody defensive formation and we don't want to play uh you know we don't want to play defensive and for me that formation doesn't work with our kind of players because look i've said it a few times playing with that formation um some players miss out on you know getting game time i mean if you look at one matter he's missing out but the thing is with one matter he's one of those players who have one good game then they're rubbish one good game then they're rubbish then they just switches every single game it's it and it, it just starts to get absolutely ridiculous so for me um is it jose Mourinho though is it Mourinho that that is actually causing this rubbish though I mean, who knows? It could be. It could just be one matter after all. Though. It, it wasn't. It didn't happen that much with Van Gaal though, or David Moyes. Well, the Moyes made the players uh, rubbish every game. So, yeah, we can't say anything about Moyes. But you know, look, David Moyes sucked a bit of United. Van Gaal now Mourinho is sucking a bit out. So. Look, it just makes life a lot harder. Just get a new manager. That's what I recommend. Um. An attacking one and, you know, look, a manager who is capable enough of winning trophies at Manchester United. I thought Mourinho was one of them. But first season, when Mourinho comes, yeah, you're not expected to win a Premier League trophy in your first season as a club. Look, um, and, and I don't, no, no manager has came in. No manager has ever came into Manchester United and has ever won a Premier League trophy in their first season here. They haven't. Um, but look, you, you're not expected to. In the first season, you just need to start to, you know, go on and get the hang of things. Second season, that that's when you're expected. I mean, Jose Mourinho was expected to. And in the, his third season, this season, he was he's, he's expected to get sacked. And look, he should be getting sacked. I don't know why they're not barging off the word. Bloody sack Mourinho. And look, he's got to be in a sack race now, though. He's got to just... He's got to be in a race for sack. They've got to at least be thinking about it. They can't be... Like, Edward Ward, the Glazers, they can't be sat at home. Just... They can't be sat at home not thinking about sacking him. Because right now, look, all they've done is told him to shut... Uh, to shut up with the negativity and stuff. They've said nothing about them sacking him. Why don't you just sack him? Because, first of all, it's the, it's the matches... And you've got the negativity. That's bloody two things. So, I mean, look, there's more than two problems at Manchester United. It, right now, it's the results. It's the criticism, the negativity, um, not motivating the players. It's it's all that stuff. And I'm, I'm starting to, you know, really get frustrated with what's going on right now at Manchester United. It's, get, it's, get, it's starting to get really frustrating. So... Look, Jose Mourinho has got to change something, otherwise he can go. I mean, I thought Mourinho wants to get sacked. He, look, look, people say he wants to get sacked. Mourinho doesn't want to go for Manchester United. I, 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 I'll tell you now, if you think Mourinho wants to get sacked, I'm going to tell you why he doesn't want to get sacked. The reason why he doesn't want to get sacked, I mean, oh, look, who knows? It could be because, like, he, he just wants to show that he has, look, Actually, look, to be honest with you, I, I don't know, but a, a, a reason for why he doesn't want to get sacked is because, look, when it comes to his sacking game, the game where he's going to get sacked, that he he put he makes the players put on a good performance. Or it could just be that he just want at the end of the day, he's showing, he, he, he just wants to show passion. That's That, that might be a reason. God knows what's going on uh, with Jose Mourinho. And does he want to get sacked? Does he not want to get sacked? Look, I, I really do want to know. But, I mean, look, the thing is, if Mourinho wanted to get sacked, he, he would have resigned. And Jose Mourinho hasn't resigned. So it's, it's, it's easier to resign than just get sacked because they're not barging off the word. I keep on saying it. They're not going to sack Jose Mourinho. So I assume that I don't think Mourinho wants to get sacked. 
because he would have resigned. Or look, no, Mourinho, he's, he's quite dumb and he's probably just going to wait for them to sack him so that way he can never go back to Manchester United. I mean, that way if you resign, then they could easily just hire you up. They'll be on his back the whole time. So, I mean, if he wants to come back in and... I don't believe he would want Jose Mourinho again because look, look what he's done to Manchester United. He hasn't been good enough. So if, if we go for Mourinho again, so if he resigns and we suddenly go for him again, it would be absolutely ridiculous because look, he, he's never won a title at Manchester United. It's not like he's won a title and then we just won him back. He hasn't won a Premier League title. He's won three trophies at Manchester United. That's it. But none of them are Premier League titles though. None of them are. So, bloody hell. Look, Jose Mourinho just has to buck up his ideas. I, I'm telling you right now, the guy has to buck up his ideas. Um, look, it, th if he wants to win trophies, bloody do it, mate. Do it. Just resign from Manchester United because you're nothing. Motivate the players. I mean, just don't criticise them. Stop with the negativity. I mean, look, I watched a bit of uh, Mourinho's uh, press conference, uh, post-match press conference against Everton. Um... And look, he, he was just talking about like the first halves and stuff. He said, look, the Everton first half was good. Tottenham first half was phenomenal and stuff. We want a full 90 minutes. We can't just have 45 minutes of going on attacking football. We wanted the whole bloody match. And we're not getting it. And that is what we need. Attacking football the whole game. If we play attacking football the whole game, it will make us score more goals and it's more likely that we will win we can't just play 45 minutes of it because what other club out there does it no one apart from manchester united and for me look it's just a waste of time going there to watch manchester united play 45 minutes of football um i mean look when we have fergie we play 90 minutes of football right now with jose Mourinho, 45 minutes I mean, look, last season, it was zero minutes of attacking football. Last season, we didn't play attacking football at all. So, I've got to say it is an improvement. But, look, I mean, look, I would much prefer a trophy, though. I, I would much prefer a Premier League trophy to come to Manchester United. I, I, I mean, look, I, I don't care what the football's like unless we get the results. Okay? Uh, un unless we win games, I don't care if it's defensive football. I, I, or if it's attacking football but i really do care because we're not winning games well look we have won games but we're not winning the games with like like the games that we should win so that's why i'm not happy because we're not winning we're not winning our majority of game uh, we're not winning much games so yeah look we're either losing or drawing or just snatching a win. That's the thing, though. I mean, against Everton, they actually tried, to be honest with you. That's the only match where look, they played, like, 70 minutes of attacking football or so. But, you know, it's it's got to be more. Against Everton, though, the, for me, it was a phenomenal first half. And it was an all right second half. But, you know, it's it, it would be better if we... It, because it will help us win trophies if we can just play attacking football. Simple as. Um, it's, it's, it's just absolutely ridiculous. Defensive football isn't going to bring us anywhere whatsoever. It's not going to bloody do anything. So stop the defensive football because it does absolutely nothing. What does defensive football actually prove though? It does nothing. We can't score goals. How does Mourinho expect us to score goals though? And our players are not defensive players. Mourinho's turning them into defensive players. So if we get an attacking manager, our attacking manager is going to have to develop them and stuff. But look, look, look we attack in Manchester United though. I mean, look, right now we can't complain and say, oh yeah, we don't attack at all. Because we do attack. But what do we do when we attack? We don't have an attacking plan. Will we just try and pass it to the sides? Go for through balls like we did against Everton. Through balls is what we should do, to be honest with you. I mean, look, I mean, look at our through balls. I mean, Pogba he did a few good of the Marsh. Look, Martial's good at running onto the through balls. So for me, go for the through balls. Go for don't go for don't go for long balls because well, when we go for long balls, it doesn't work. We just try and go for really long balls. It just ends up going to the opposition because our players just go on the give it too much of a hard kick so no long balls just go for nice through balls and don't get them high get them though because i mean look you, you saw a 
either, we all saw Everton's defending, it was awful. So just pass it through the gaps. We'll be absolutely fine, we'll get goals. So through balls for me is my is what we should do to really attack. Don't always get them to the side because then the, the other team can easily press them and make the ball go out of play and stuff. And the, um, also, the, I, I don't know what Mourinho's been saying to me. He's like saying right now, right, be a dirty team. The man in Matic is a player who's starting to wind me up. He's a bloody dirty guy. He's a dirty player, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, and look, I, in my opinion, I think we should play youngsters. Uh... I'm, you know, I'm, I am a fan of youngsters and I think that they do have rights to play. It, it, it's not like bloody, um, it's, it's, it's not like, it's, it's, it's just ridiculous. It's not like bloody animal testing. Do they, do they deserve to, like, do, do, do animals deserve to be, uh, wait, I mean, look, like, do animals deserve to be, tested on it's not like that it's not bloody philosophy it's simple play bloody youngsters it's no philosophy no bloody philosophy it's nothing to discuss play them because they're they're good they have rights to play it's not philosophy for god's sake it's no it's it's no it's, it's just no philosophical question or whatever the word is just play the youngsters because they can actually do something seriously anyway anyway i'm Right, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end the stream here. It's going to be a spooky stream tomorrow night. So, anyway, yeah, um, there'll be a lunchtime stream as well. So, spooky stream tomorrow night as it is Halloween. So, look, look tomorrow's night stream. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get back to you on that. But, anyway, um, speech all at... Um, I think there's going to be a, a video out at probably 12 tomorrow or something. So, yeah. Um, so, uh, speech all at... Uh, the, for the lunchtime video at 12 o'clock. Anyway, yeah, speak to you all tomorrow. Thanks for watching.